So Hendrik, what initially led you to become a Rotarian? Um, that's a, sort of a hard question because I was, I was just living here. Uh, my neighbor was a good friend of mine and he's, he said, you know, he, he, he was a Rotarian and one day he said, you know what, why don't you come along to, uh, to the meetings? Uh, so he, he kind of did it in a way that you introduce new Rotarians to the, to the club. He brought me along, I liked it. Uh, I wanted to get more involved in community work and whatnot, and Rotary appeared to be a very good avenue. This was back in 1994, and I became member at uh, Rotary Central. And it, forever, it has just been a very nice ride, actually. Rotary is such a positive and good organization. It, it, I continue to enjoy it. So what was the motivation to go further with Rotary and become president in 2006 and 2007? Um, I kind of grew into the organization and because Rotary is so diverse, I, I think it, it, it works different ways. There is a lot of room there for personal development. Uh, when I committed to it, I wanted to get involved and you get, in, you get asked to serve on the board. You like to do that, you do different functions there. And I got to learn more about Rotary and yeah, it's kind of said to myself well it may be nice to be one of these years to become president so when when i was asked or nominated for that position i said yes and uh no regrets altogether actually so working side by side with alistair who's the dg at that time did that help you grow into your presidential role um well the 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 preparation to become a uh, a president or to take that role is basically you you serve for a number of years on the board in various roles and then you get to understand the working of Rotary, um, usually you're very well prepared because we see that at our club we have not had nothing but good precedents. Uh, and, and there is a very good system in preparing you for these functions. You go to a district conference where you will get some specific training. Uh, you plan your year with your board. Uh, you start with that half a year before. So you kind of everything by the day that the 1st of July when you officially become president, Everything is there and everything is in place and you just work on executing your plan. Uh, an extra dimension, it was indeed that Alistair was our uh, district governor for that year and it just, yeah, it made it even more fun, I think, because all the Rotarians, uh, by towards the end of the year, they come here for the district conference. Um, and there's a lot of excitement when such a conference happens in, 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 in your own country. Mm -hmm. um, that was just very nice. I think it was, it was one of the highlights of that year that, that we were, along with Alistair, co-hosting uh, the district conference. Personally, I didn't do much for that conference although, other than showing up and saying a few things here and there, but it, Alistair had a very solid team put together. And it, it was just, actually it was a big encouragement to have him as, as a district governor. And he was special because he was our, our first president of the club. So. The, the club bears a lot of his signature or whatever you want to call that. So, it, yeah, it was, it was just great. And do you have any advice for fellow Rotarians since you're a veteran? Uh, I, I think that it was when the very beginning, and Carl Brown, my neighbor, he got me into Rotary. Carl is the Hazel husband, yeah? And I kind of was sitting there attending meetings and I said, what, do you, what am I supposed to do? He said, just watch and see, there will be so many projects in this club. If there's something you like, just pitch in, come in and join it. You don't have to do everything, nobody expects you to do that. But there are so many different activities in our community. Just pick and choose the, the subjects that you like. And I think that is that continues to be my advice for, for young and old Rotarians. I mean, just, just pick something you like and, and uh, it, it will work. Thank you, Hendrik.